Hello, this is Mark from 3D Origami Dream Bank with the uh, Walk Along Butterfly Build Part 2. In the Part 2 segment, I'm going to show you how to shape the wings of the Walk Along Butterfly because if you don't, the butterfly is not going to fly. And I'm going to show you some secrets on how to make it work and glide. This one's done right here, this white one. And as you can see, the wings are bent a certain way. To me, it almost kind of looks like a orchid. And uh, if you look at the second one, the Monarch, it's just flat. And I'll bring this other one close by. If you look real closely to this one, the bottom part is cupped. It has a bull nose, uh, bull nose edges along the, around the outside. And that's the first part. That's what we're going to do now. This part here is going to be rounded over. And what you want to do is take this part here and you want to cup it up. rounding the edges I found out if you round the edges it makes it slow down and that's what you need to make the walk along butterfly glide at a slow pace so just do what I do cupping it around the edges and you can always go around once or twice. The top part of the wings, you want to do the same thing. Now, this is a really thin styrofoam. It's a 0.5 millimeter styrofoam that I sliced myself. I looked online to buy really thin styrofoam, and I just couldn't find any anywhere. So when you decide to make a walk-along butterfly, the first thing you're going to have to do is make the slicing machine nichronium wire foam slicing machine. And then you can move along to the next step and make this walk-along butterfly. I'm almost done with this part. And in the first segment, I showed you how to do the antenna and the proby, how to place them. And if you see real quick here, they're placed in the middle, one down and one up. So I just showed you how to round it over. It's already starting to take shape, but there's some other things that you're going to have to do here, and that's curve the wings up. What you want to do is curve the back up here and you want to curve the front up just a little bit here. So I just curve the front up and these back they're kind of like ailerons on an airplane and all these areas here. So you have one, the two front are up here and the two in the back are up. Now this part here, you're going to want to roll it up like this and then kind of shape it up just like this. And then also you're going to want to fold it in half. I like to fold it in half around the body. It gives it more of a shape like this. You can do it however you want fold, fold. So you can see that this styrofoam is pretty rigid now, but I've made all these curves and folds in it. And one other thing is you should take some scissors and cut right here. Cut the back part. here and here and this will let you curl up this will let you curl up the back 
it's really important when you try to get it to turn right or left because you want it to fly straight. When it goes off the uh, paper, you want it to glide down and fly straight. Now you can see that this walk-along butterfly has already taken shape just like the, the white one here and it kind of looks like an orchid also. And in part three, I'll probably show you how it flies and glides. You can also look at other videos out there. But this is really important, the shaping of the butterfly. Thanks for watching my video.